Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I'm in my T110E5 flying solo on Thiefful Ridge. Uh, we have four eights to their two, but we also have seven tens to their five. The rest are nines. So I want to feature this video not only because it is a good tight battle in the end, but I love featuring the T110E5 since people think pretty much that it's a bad tank or it's in a bad place right now since the Coppola was nerfed. I just think it's misunderstood. Um, first of all, the tech tree you go down is pretty much like strong turrets, and I would argue that the T29 and the T32 have great turrets. However, the M103's turret is kind of garbage, so it kind of prepares you for the T110E5. And the next thing is, if you were used to the strong Coppola, that rarely ever got penned besides tier 10 tank destroyers, then yes, the gameplay is going to be a little bit different because you'll have to make micro movements in this tank to actually really maximize the effect of armor. This Coppola, though it's buffed, it's still pretty strong. The one thing for me is cover the lower plate, cover the armpits. Premium rounds will destroy it. Uh, AP rounds can go through it. If your lower plate's exposed, make sure you're moving your hull around. Now I'm a little too high, you can see. With the Type 61, pen my hull there. And I'm still targeted, I think it's just the Type 61. Maybe the Conqueror on my right looking at me. And there's actually something off to my left that bounces off my Coppola. So, shooting at the side of this thing, it's actually pretty weak. So, I'm not too worried about what hit me on the left side. Um, just because it must not have good pen. Maybe it didn't hit me square, but I'm just going to keep wiggling, making micro movements, and hopefully that will help. And maybe I should have worried about what was on my left, because it was a Death Star. And now I'm a one-shot for pretty much everything. So now I gotta deal with this Conqueror. Alright, so I loaded Heat up. That way I could reliably go through his viewports on top of his turret. Shooting down into a Conqueror's head. Uh, it's pretty easy to get shot, uh, pens into that viewport. But when he's on flat ground, um, it is kind of difficult. He overangles. I get a shot into his engine deck or the side of his tank. Really didn't need Heat for that. But when I'm on low health, I like to definitely try to maximize my penetration and make sure I can get through tricky scenarios. Can't really tell how that rock looks behind the tree, which is kind of irritating, but um, nonetheless, I get another pen in them. We're up five to three. I feel like our positioning on the map is really good. Um, they're kind of closer to the base, which tends to lose games. And we're kind of on the outskirts, taking care of their flankers. So there I loaded an HE shell. Don't need to pen that. Now we're moving forward. It is six to four. And what I like to do on Thiefful Ridge is get up onto either this or the next one's hill and get some vision out for my team. You also can get a lot of good shots, uh, but mostly just vision control. My first attempt was a failure. You can't get it from that side. My second attempt, uh, just don't question you if I have the speed to get up here. And I'm wasting a lot of time, I feel like. I need to keep my gun in the game and at least get vision for my team. And sure enough, I catch the rock just perfect. Starts to turn on the dirt and like track grabs and gets me up the hill. Alright, so <clears throat> there's an E100 down there. And you can hear me hitting the auto lock, uh, but he's behind a hill. A lot of times through the vegetation, um, you'll hear me just auto locking and that's really just so I don't have to tunnel vision and look down my barrel 
Because if you can see any portion of the tank, your auto lock will lock on them, which is very helpful. Um, you definitely could look down your barrel and aim to see if you can see any part of it, but then that takes away a lot of the open vision that you have on your screen. So this T-49 tries to get behind me. <clears throat> Little scrub, sorry. You overextended yourself and you pay the price. He's seen a tier 10 that he could one shot, so he got excited. Alright, now there's a Tiger 2 over there. That M103 is still just giving my team a whole bunch of fits, and I feel like maybe I should have just went over there and dealt with him. So that guy leaves him on 31 hit points. They do have a Tortoise over here, and I remember they also have the Death Star, so. So Tiger 2 looks like he's going to try to make some moves on me. And from how bad that T-49 got wrecked, I know that I got cover fire behind me. So he's paying attention to the tank in front of him. I pop him, and that's really risky because I exposed my lower plate. However, he doesn't get aimed, or he doesn't want to shoot at my lower plate. Maybe can't see it with the rocks there. Um, so he goes for a Coppola shot, and a Coppola shot at that angle is probably million to one that he actually meant it. So my heavy comes around the corner, puts him on a one shot for me, allows me to drive down since I know he already shot, kill him. We lose our Death Star and we're actually down 9 to 11 now. So I feel like they're making a good advance on the north. I took too long over here and maybe costed us the game. Now you see I auto lock that shot and it was completely on the side of that mono 3 so I figured if I just drove up the hill a little bit more that I'd be able to shoot him without thinking however I don't know if I hit a bumper my gun was just still aimed at the dirt I don't know whatever put another shell in actually aim my shot shot him down and I'm gonna let my guys know that I'm on my way hopefully letting them know like that they're not gonna drive out in the open To me, it just kind of gives a reassurance of, hey guys, you have a teammate that pays attention to his minimap, and that's nice to know, especially you know, when I'm on their side. I really, it's awesome to know that this person's paying attention to me. Alright, so it's four to five, their E75 drops in behind, our AT-15 takes him down. I get a shot in the back of his turret. Now I load heat, because I know he's turning around and I want to make sure I reliably can pen his turret. So I slam him in, our Conqueror takes down their Death Star. Now it's a 3v3 and I feel like our positioning is okay. I'm not a huge fan of being in a hole. I like the high ground, as you can see me trying to make an attempt at that hill again, um, but realizing that that'd be a mistake and a waste of time. There's a lot you can see from up there, um, but I definitely think I spent a lot of time in this whole game worrying about that stupid hell. Alright, so object 432 on a sliver of health, and he's going to pull forward, and it doesn't really matter, my shell falls short. Conqueror doesn't shut him down, and now I switch to HE. Once again, I don't have to pen this shot, I just make sure it's fully aimed so the HE shell at least explodes on his tank, and we shut him down. Now as we pull up, I notice on my mini-map that there's a tortoise, and my Conqueror, I don't know if he didn't see it or didn't care, but he proceeds to drive out in a field in front of a tortoise. The medium tank reacted, drove straight down the hill at me. And the tortoise takes advantage and kills our conqueror. Now that was our healthiest tank, and I feel like it was important that we had him on the team. As you can see the TVP, I go up a little too high, but that might have saved me since I get to rock back. I can see his tracer is red also, so I know that he's shooting APCR instead of heat. 
And that tank does not have the greatest of penetration. So at long range with APCR, A, that TVP is not that accurate, and B, the penetration isn't that outstanding either. All right, so what I want to do is try to flank this tortoise. Now, a tortoise can spin pretty pretty well or get a tank traverse. And I try to lock down his track, and I whiff that shot, and he's going to shut me down. All right, so it's all up to use action 10. You got this, bro. Can he do it? No, he can't. He gets shut down. Overall, a nice game. Shows off the T110E5 a little bit. Go to end game stats here. Nice game for T110E5. 4,600 damage, 38 assists, 4,200 block, top gun metal. Centurion Action 10 worked hard with 6k damage, 34 out of my conch, but is not to be. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.